the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror for a reason. Y'all, the 57th annual CMA Awards brought the heat. Literally. Wild things. Wild horses. Lainey Wilson was up for nine awards, sweeping up five, taking home the granddaddy of them all, yep, Entertainer of the Year. Thank y'all for letting me be me, and thank y'all for, for giving me this opportunity. Hey, it's Addison Haker, and we're recapping the five moments you might have missed during the CMA Awards. Quickly go on and hit that subscribe button if you don't mind, and give this video a thumbs up if you like the type of coverage we bring. We sure do appreciate it. Before we get into the five moments that caught our eyes, I'm going to briefly run through a few. First, we got this tender bromance behind the scenes moment with Jelly Roll and Zach Bryan. Shout out to photographer John Shear for that one. Don't you just love that? During Cody Johnson's performance of The Painter, as he continued through the song about his wife, an image of her was displayed in the background, growing with flowers throughout the song. And it was the camera shot back to her after that got us all misty eyed. Everybody was having a good old time, like here, here, and specifically here. We're counting four solo cups there for Luke Combs. <laughs> Mom and dad were soaking up their kiddo-free night. Jelly Roll did what Jelly Roll does best and showed up to the ACM red carpet in style. During the Jimmy Buffett tribute, we got distracted for a minute by Zac Brown. Yeah, that happened. You see, he sported the late Jimmy Buffett shorts and no shoes ensemble. But no one prepared us for the fact that I don't think we've seen Brown's legs in a hot minute. Okay, Carrie Underwood Jr., pop off. And speaking of wardrobe, we have some questions about this photo. Keith Urban, what are those? Comment your favorite moment from the show and now let me bring you five of our favorites. First up is new artist of the year himself. After giving this powerful speech and taking his award. There's something poetic about a 39 year old man winning new artist of the year. I don't know where you're at in your life or what you're going through, but I want to tell you to keep going, baby. I want to tell you success is on the other side of it. I want to tell you it's going to be okay. I want to tell you that the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror for a reason. It looks like he's going to have to get another one because this is where it ended up. Poor guy, it just slipped out of his hands. We did a whole video on this next one that you'll find in the upper right hand corner, but many were wondering if Winona was okay when she came on stage to perform Jelly's Need a Favor with him. She clung to him the whole time. Later, she would take to social media to let fans know that ultimately, it was just nerves. I was so freaking nervous. I got out there and I looked at Jelly Roll. I wanted it to be so good for him. I could cry right now, but I'm not going to because I'm such a fan of his and he asked me to sing. And I said, absolutely. I got out there and I was so nervous that I just held a hunt for dear life. When Chris Stapleton took the stage to accept his male vocalist of the year trophy, he made mention of two people close to him who died in recent months. First of those was Mike Henderson, the founding Still Drivers member and longtime collaborator who helped Stapleton pin some of his most impactful hit songs. Henderson died in September at the age of 70, but the second person Stapleton remembered on stage was less well known to the country music community. That was Eric Burroughs, a bodyguard who served as Stapleton's director of security between 2016 and late 2021. Burroughs, who has also worked in security for celebrities like Justin Timberlake and Celine Dion, died on Monday, November 7th. A GoFundMe set up for his family says he died unexpectedly while working in Europe. Backstage after the award show on Wednesday, Stapleton remembered Burroughs as someone who was more than just an employee. He was a close family friend. Quote, he toured with us quite a bit, he told press, took care of my family, did security on the road, he passed away the day before yesterday, and he was just on my mind. Leave some love for Chris and Bro's family in the comment section if you feel loved. The last two have to do with the entertainer of the year, Miss Lainey Wilson. Remember this awkward moment at the ACMs last year? Because I'll be honest, I was just like, what is happening in life right now? So he was like, do I kiss you? Do I hug you? <laughs> it was the hard launch of her relationship with Duck and that on camera moment before you walk on stage didn't seem talked through. Are we hugging? Are we kissing? Well, folks, 
When she went up to accept her Entertainer of the Year trophy, we got this. A kiss! <laughs> you know I had to go slow-mo. And now for the last moment that just touched our hearts. It has to do with what Lainey said about her parents with us ahead of the show and what she had to say about them during her acceptance speech. Now, actually, my mama, she uh, she had a really cool like thought even yesterday. She said something to me about, you know, uh, like we're, we're so thankful to, to be here and, and to be a part of this. And um, we're just we're proud of you if you, if you just just keep on being you and, and spread love and light. And that's, mm -hmm. and that's what it's about. These awards are nice and they fancy and um, and it's a big, a big, huge stepping stone. But they're just proud of who I am, well, and they, I'll take that. I'll say it, it's really, it's really, really wild. I guess nine might be my my lucky number because um, that's how many times we were nominated for the CMAs this year. It's the year that my mom and daddy brought me to Nashville for the very first time and took me to the Grand Ole Opry for the first time. Um, it's the year that that. My mom and daddy brought home this horse named Tex, and uh, the horse was, it was wild, and, and it needed breaking, and they put me on the back of that thing, and they said, you better hold on, you better ride, and um, I'll tell you what, there were times where I, I was crying, and I wanted to get down, I'm like, let me off the back of this thing, but y'all, every time it would start bucking, I'd hold on a little bit tighter, and I think that right there is one of the things that prepared me for this ride, because it is wild, and uh...